The Chesapeake Bay watershed spans 64,000 square miles of land, 11,684 miles of shoreline, 150 major rivers and streams, and six states from Virginia to New York. It is also home to numerous animal species. Water birds such as the blue heron, crustaceans such as the blue crab, many fish species, and also many wetland and aquatic plant species call the Chesapeake Bay watershed region home. Human actions are having a tremendous impact on the bay. Increased urban development of old farmland and wetland areas is causing a tremendous amount of land use change in the area. This is leading to increased sedimentation in the bay, as well as increased nutrient runoff into the watershed, which is leading to extreme hypoxic events throughout the bay. Also, greenhouse gas emissions from the burning of fossil fuels is contributing to global climate change. This is leading to rising sea levels worldwide, which will have a profound impact on the Chesapeake Bay watershed. We can already see how our actions are having a negative impact on the Chesapeake Bay. Over the last 50 years, it is estimated that around 2,900,000,000 metric tons of sediment has entered the bay. This impacts water quality and can damage native species habitat. Also, humans have rapidly destroyed or damaged the riparian buffer zone, the area of interface between land and aquatic habitats. This has led to nutrient runoff and increased amounts of pollution entering the bay. This has severely diminished the water quality and has also created many dead zones throughout the bay. Luckily, there are many ways that we can help save the bay. From 1990 to 2005, approximately $426 million were spent on Chesapeake Bay watershed cleanup projects. These projects ranged from riparian management to bank stabilization, water quality management, and even land acquisition. They all act on different scales, but no matter how small or large, they all play an important role in cleaning up the bay. The goal of these projects is to restore damaged habitats to a healthy and sustainable level and to support the continued existence of native plant and animal species.